All right, so this is Mafia 2. My name is Chocolate Donuts, and this guy here is Jossie Rossi. Hi. 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 Look at this guy. All right, so we have a map. Uh, it's a map. There's the your waypoint, you've got the bar, you've got the diner, and you've got a clothing store. Is this based on a real city? No. Uh, no. It does not look it. Not exactly. This guy's a jerk. No, he's not. Uh, hey. Dude, Look, he didn't even say hi. It. I feel He was reading a paper. There's a couple idiots in a oh, in the street. So this is what happens when the police see you. You don't get the slowdown in the blue light. <laughs> but at first they wanted to give me a citation, and now oh. they want to arrest me, and here comes the guy with his 38 snub nose. This is the getting your arrested pain, damage. The reign of terror is over, Vito. Not yet. Suspect. Uh... <laughs> Copy that. I actually, so, so I didn't, didn't realize you could break out We're of that. You, you can, it's... Roger that. It's a little bit finicky with the, you know, exactly when it will let you, but it'll let you. Uh, all police carry 38 revolvers as their sidearms. And there's a decent number of police in this street at the moment. The little, like, running around there. I was looking for his bullets. I found them. But it took me a second. I assume by the end of the game, you've probably killed more cops than people could realistically live in a city. Um, not unless you play this, basically doing this all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, the game, most of the time you're not actively trying to kill cops in, like, the missions. I have to ask, why is that radio so damn loud? Uh... Uh, the oh, I uh, so that you can hear it over the gunfire. It's more of a gameplay thing than it is a. As much of this game is done for immersion, that's not part of it. The fact that everything costs under a dollar in the poor part of town is. <laughs> All right, so that guy took a couple bullets, but he went down. I gotta say, I like the way that, like, the body physics react when you shoot people. Alright, we'll go in here. I take that gun so outside do you, if I like, were do you. they- Hey! Right. I needed the money. I thought that you would go into an automatic, you know, robbing sequence. Oh, uh, no. Um, you- you can, like, if you hit them, they'll crouch and you don't have to kill them and you can steal everything, but they'll also call the cops. Or you could just shoot them. I'm assuming there's literally no downside to just shooting them. Uh, the cops want you pretty hard if you just shoot them and people see you. Mm. And it makes uh, some of the some of the time with other customers in the store, they'll uh, actually try to stop you from robbing the store depending on who they are. The AI reacts differently depending on what NPC it has in the store. Like for example, an ex-military guy in a uniform or a wise guy You're might pull out way. his gun and say, Hey, you, stop that, and start shooting at you. Or a uh, an older guy or an older woman might crouch in the corner and try and hide. So we've got our change of clothes. Police won't recognize us. Let's go get a snack. Yay! Snack. Good afternoon, mister. From the Greek guy. <laughs> so you can get cola... These prices are outrageous! Which is... Unacceptable! Fifteen cents Seven for cents for a cup of coffee? In my day, it was a penny! Good food for you! And we were happy, goddammit! I am an ex- I am a veteran, dammit! I do like that Vito just drinks the entire beer in one go. Just... That's what men do. I, I can't get over it. The guy wanders out, holds his umbrella like a dandy. <laughs> Can you hear the guy across the street yelling about fresh hot dogs? I don't trust the way he was explaining his fresh hot dogs and them being fresh. I really don't trust him. Yeah, let's go back to the Italian district. Check out the war propaganda on the wall there. Game is very uh it, they they really wanted to capture the period. Uh and I think they did a good job with that. Like it the clothing, the way people react to you. Almost everybody carries a gun. Like, like, I find it, yeah, I find it really surprising that the overall, like... Oh, fuck. Feel, oh, my God. The, <laughs> the, the overall fault. feel of the game is so good, but apparently the reviews just don't match up with it. Um, critically, the game got mostly 
like sevens and eights with the occasional like it just wasn't good review. Yeah. Um, a lot of people basically said it could have been more, and that's why it's only average. And it really could have. I mean, if 2K hadn't gutted this, this could have been a really great game. And instead, it's just a good game. But I like it a lot. So we're we're gonna go visit Joe. And hey, Joe. Yeah, Joey. Joe. Joe Bobro. Everybody likes Joe, except Vito's mother. Can't imagine why. <laughs> he got him out of the army, right? Let's go look at a random unrelated door because I'm an idiot. All right, upstairs. I mean, to be fair, all the doors really do look the same. It's an easy mistake to make. Actually... Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. <laughs> uh, actually, if you look at, like, the door tags, they're all different. Oh. And if you look at Joe's, it actually says Jay Barbaro. But, here we go. <laughs> this is a bad time. <laughs> we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. And you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. I, I do have to point out, um, Joe gets changed awfully fast. You made enough cash for <laughs> all um, this in the so last So you're going to see years? me go to this More table like the a last lot. Three months. I barely had time to reason for that is, there's three supposed months. to be a playboy there. Oh, uh, it's one of the collectibles the right in the game, people, at 1953 or something. Whoa, uh, look at this bet. <laughs> and uh, it's not there. And it turns out that the reason is because I picked it up during one of my test recordings and uh, turning on the fan. And the game saved that I turned it on. So, uh, here's the kitchen, you know. This where I'm gonna sleep. They'll yep. discuss it. They'll All discuss yours. the uh, the bedroom. There's Playboy magazines and naughty mags hidden everywhere in Joe's house. Although most of them aren't collectibles. I'm noticing a lot of incongruous hey, details in like the really fluffy pillows that had like flowers on them and the flower shower curtains. And why does he have two toothbrushes? Um, why not? He's uh, got he... a lot of money. Maybe he just. Maybe Look at this. I don't know. You got your own phone. Um, yeah. And I I actually want to go back for a second and comment on first of all the music. Whoa, whoa, sorry. He has two bathrooms. Yes, he does. What the hell? It's a very swank apartment. He's a guest bathroom. S swank for the time. So you thought anyway. about what you're gonna do now? You said um, gonna introduce me to the that music guy, is really. No, no, no. They I did a good job a getting picture. a lot of very period there, stuff. The uh, do when you got back? song in that cutscene really, was. Boogie Besides Woogie usual, Bugle you know, Boy and find a nice you know, wartime down. music Whoa. from that 1945, hey, 1944 time period. Right sure it's a just a nice extra hey, touch. Uh, Once you move forward in time a bit, pace. the music changes. Hey, all I do is make away a phone call. You, get... you can thank yeah. Giuseppe when we go pick him up. <laughs> he... He's obviously got telekinetic powers. Or tele... whatever. Teleportation. Hey, yeah. You think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? 
The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive over. All right, all right. Here's the keys. <laughs> Just be fucking careful. All right. Okay. When it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas Swirl. than you... Showing off the coat That's physics. the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe. I know. All right. This is a... Uh, game calls it a Culver Empire. Most of the car models are based off of... Real world okay, cars make from right that here. time period. Then just go straight for a while. Uh, I'm obviously I'm not going to know all of them, but like for example, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it when, down once the game to moves forward to for its no second reason. time period, you start seeing like ob ob fairly obvious things. You know. Yeah, I think hey, around Vito, this time, you know pretty much time every is? car it's practically looked the same anyway. Yeah, it's very time similar. For you to get your own fucking else. car. Yeah, I'd love to. So you can see that the speedometer is kind of glowing red at the moment, but it, it it stops at 40. Uh, the reason that it was doing that, if you turn it on, the you game has a, a speed they really limiter, you to drive over there. so well, that the cops it. don't start following you if you have a hot foot. You start randomly start speeding, and the cops will try and pull you over, and they will actually issue you a ticket. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like no that. idea why his coat to smash flashes out like that. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe. He got a little excited. A, a little bit. Just... He, he just Welcome grabbed the edges Giuseppe's of the coat and threw them backwards. Store, a thief's paradise. Yahoo! You name it, he's got it. Hey, he even hey, sells phony gun permits fun, huh? and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot up. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's, uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Retire, please. How are you? Uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, so we get our discharge papers here. Uh, this sets up set not stuff. having to go that back to do. the military. And guess who's paying for them? And then Joe has us buy lockpicks. Grazie. Well, you can test it right now. Here. Take do this lock. Do you get to upgrade your equipment you just later need to on? Insert the pick into um, the lock and not the lockpicks. The there's the there's certain, like... To hold the pins one by one. The, the 38 isn't the best revolver in the game, but for the most part, there's no real upgrading. Although you can get cars kind of tuned for better for better handling. Uh, you can see down where the mini map is. That was the lock picking mini game. See you around, you Very similar to Alpha Daddy. Protocol. If Easy, you ever played huh? that, you uh, worry. You'll get the change the tension on the pin until it changes the color. You hit a button, it locks in place. All right, down and out. And we're going to get ourselves a car. Yeah. Uh, okay. You still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. There's two things I'm going to want you to look at right now. There's the snow on top of the car, which is an important detail in a second, and the license plate, which is an important detail in a little bit. And the license plate you can see is individual ha letters and numbers on it. Doesn't matter what they are. Don't don't worry about like trying to keep track of that right now. Q0827, you mean? Damn it. Oh, oh up. shit! Where the hell did he come from? Ah, uh, he was watching around the corner. No, it doesn't always do this blue glow, like I mentioned earlier. That's kind of just it slowing down time so it can give you a second to react if this is the first time the cops have come after you, which uh, this is the first time the plot will have them do that. And you can see above the uh, mini-map, right now they just want to put me in cuffs. They aren't shooting yet. It's a uh, two-star wanted level. If you want to put it in GTA terms, and or the fact that there's two stars, or the fact that there's two stars, okay, fine. <laughs> and then you can now see All much right. more clearly. Looks like we lost. There's a wanted plate like the there, car? which means that they're actually actively right, let's go find ourselves a body tracking shop. the car's they license plate. The kind of so they're looking for the vehicle with yeah, license plate Q0827. Yes, they're looking for the vehicle with license plate Q0827. I know the guy who runs them. And. uh... 
That just so happens to be the one that we're driving. Ooh, that's bad luck. Uh, you know, I think we should do something that's about tough. it. Here, park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn. Ah, uh, Joe, tell me how to fucking do everything. I, I don't know if you know this there. On the mini-map, there was a cop just pulling around the corner and starting to see me. What can I do you for, Freaked pal? me out a little bit while I was recording. No license plate. So yeah. here, you can you? actually no set the individual license plate. Oh, wow. It's uh, fully customized in terms of what it says. You can't obviously change the color or anything. But, uh, I... I, I this... You know, it, it's all alphanumeric, obviously. Um, I spent a minute thinking about it and decided what I'm going to do is have you nice people out there on the internet and you not so nice people out there on the internet tell me what license plate I should give each car that we wind up keeping. But for now, this one's just going to be blank because I figure it's distinctive, you know? <laughs> yeah, a blank license plate is the least suspicious of the <laughs> license plates. Look, it adds class, you know? I, I think, honestly... There you go. Gave her a couple of... So... I think, that, I think that's Steve Bloom. Might be. He was in a, <laughs> he, a, another game recently. He's in everything recently. <laughs> Any color. Uh, so we can change the car's color. Ooh. Um. Oh, tell me you go with the red. You know, I think I actually went with the blue. Because I normally go with the red. And you can change it again later. And the blue does look, it looks kind of classy, you know? It looks dignified. The red looks like you're trying to make it out to be a sports car. And it really isn't. I can't believe I'm talking about this car like this. All right. This car is so, your baby. The car is fully tuned, but, oh, we got to get wheels? rims. Take your pick, pal. And uh, I'm pretty sure I went with white walls. <laughs> yep, there we go. So. Aw, hell yeah. Thanks a lot. Let's, uh, let's roll in the blank mobile. Now, Joe leans over his shoulder to back out, right, and if you look you at the license plate while I'm driving, Polsky. it Probably persists. Has some work for you. All right, where is it? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Does every car that you run into have hey. a randomized plate? Who's that guy? Yeah, I'm what pretty guy? sure. The guy at the body shop. Oh, that is Tommy. impressive. He's my buddy's um, nephew. I haven't really looked quiet, at it that closely yet, the although I'm, I'll take a look. So in between recordings, you know, be able to actually say when I post this. Do I detect the hint I, of I feel like uh, I'm the jealousy? only one that would be you anal kidding? enough to be like, no I need to look at every license. Yeah. Here, I'll give you some of my yeah, lines, maybe a little so maybe bit. You won't have to it's spend not. So could there possibly be another Q0827 out there? Oh, no. And this is the part where I realized mid-recording that there's some really good dialogue coming up here that I don't want to stop the commentary for. But that it would really suck if you didn't know what was going on, so I tried to turn on subtitles. I am hey, so good one. at this. Hey, is that a mirror this in your pocket? Entire... Because I can <laughs> see oh my myself God. in your pants. I broke his hip there, don't worry about it. But this this entire like drive is punctuated by Joe oh, here, just giving you a whole bunch of really if terrible one-liners and Vita reacting. You and I together. Oh, oh, come on. So... For being like a really oh, sleazy never scumbag, fit. I hey baby, that's a nice outfit. It look good, crumpled up at the foot. <laughs> I do, of my I do have to say, I like Joe. Joe is you. so far at least. You know, ultimately, the problem that I have this with oh, this hey, game is that Joe is actually hey, a much you know more interesting and likable character than Vito. No, you want to go back like, to my place and talk? You yeah, I, can you imagine right? like? Playing as Joe, you would just be going around being rich, picking up broads, having okay, a race. This it would be amazing. I, I want to cut you off for a second. Look at the lighting. House. You be the dog, oh. and I'll slam you. Oh, that was I, bad. I was, hey, knew that was coming, and it still got me. Soft. You don't just have to look at the lights with the next drift? time that we go through that tunnel, and you'll see it. The, the lighting gets very soft, and okay, it actually looks right like, here. you know, subdued and far away, and that asshole just hit me. Make a right up here. Are you gonna teach him a lesson? No, no, it's I'm actually You're gonna not. Use, use mafia law on him. No, I'm not. You're not going to like what I'm going to do. I'm calling it now. I need some weaponry. Oh, this is just a stupid idea. What don't is wrong? No. You don't turn so I'm going to get some guns. He was an old man. He was. This was his he last was day before retirement. I'm trying to steal from the register, but I keep accidentally choosing the phone. I think I'm going to do it again. 
Yeah, oh, there it goes. You should be able to call 911. Uh, you can actually eventually call the police department and bribe them to get them off your back. Because <laughs> you're so well connected. So now we're, we're loaded up with pistol ammo and we have a shotgun. You also have almost a grand of money. And that's, and that's the end oh. of the video. Oh. And, uh... Yeah, so that's what we've got right now. I... Um... Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's that's the end of the episode, I guess. So uh, I've been Chocolate Donuts, and I'm Jossy Rossi, and that jerk has been Jossy Rossi, and I'm a jerk too, and that's the end of our jerk episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs>